What's up, man? Yo, what's going on, man? That's why it's a black up lips, man. Black uh, lips. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, man. I'm so grateful that you accepted my invitation to come on the show. Likewise, man. I'm happy to be here. This is an honor, man. Yeah, man. Now the honor's mine, man. You're a legend. Trust me. At the mo- <laughs> I'm talking to a legend. In the future, people are going to talk about you like, yo, you know about Adonis Electronics? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, man, yo. That was the legend, man. He used to make oh, you made man, the new man. you made the new PlayStation. Ultra. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's beautiful, man. That's so flattering, man. I'm so humbled, man. You have no idea. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, uh, I saw you on the uh, Godfrey interview. Yeah, he was blowing you up, and I was like, "Yo, so this this dude made it like a handheld console with all yeah. the games on there." I was like. I gotta get him on the show, man. And I was also like, I gotta get him to send me one. Have you finished mine, by the oh, way? Oh yeah, I got you. I just, I just need your info, man. I got you. I, I definitely want to send one out to you, man. This guy, let's send this guy. This bit. look, this is my address. Okay, I'm gonna write this right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you? How long you been, um, like programming games and figuring out all that stuff? Um, man? well, I've, I've been a computer computer kid roughly all my life, man. I, I didn't, I didn't really get into the computer world until I was nine. Okay. Um, I got in front of my first Macintosh. That's when the Apple used to just be called Macintosh back then. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> Yo, yeah. now I got to think about it. It was never really Apple. It was, yeah. Yeah, they were the black and white little towers with the screen built in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was, that was what changed, changed my whole world once I got my hands on one of those, man. And that was actually, I was in elementary school at the time, and I was doing, like, this after-school work, and... We started working on these Macs, and I was so blown away by it that it just inspired me to wanted to get into learning everything as much as I can about electronics. Okay, that's that's so. What there? I mean, how do you just gravitate to? Because I'm I'm trying to get my kids into robotics at the moment. Like, okay. with, um, what's it called? Not is it Pi? Do they use Pi Raspberry Pi? It's probably, okay. Do they use? No, do they use um or or the or drone? Oh man, I can't remember the word, man. You know what I'm talking about. To program yeah, yeah, robots, yeah. so you build a robot and you, and you yeah. put a little mini computer system on there. Yeah. A little brain and then you program it with something with the AI. I can't remember. I'll find that. Yeah, there, there's so many now. There's, there's the funny thing is that now there's so many, there's so many options with, especially with, with, with getting into learning robotics and the basics. Like you have, um, like, like I use, like part of the board that I use for the consoles I make is called a Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Which is a single board computer. But there's Arduino. There's, there's Arduino, a Arduino, that's other- it. That's the one. Yeah, Arduino is Arduino is great. Like you could Arduino and, and Raspberry, you could go crazy. Like with the amount of different things. Like I make like I make a couple of smart mirrors now. And, smart and mirrors. Yeah, yeah, these are what? mirrors that you know that give they show your reflection, but it shows the date, time, weather. Hey, I could put Alexa in it. I could put Google Voice in it, and you could talk to it. It talks back. You no. know. I, I, yeah, yeah, I got. I, I made a few. I just I, I posted it on my Instagram. I posted one that I made for my my wife on my Instagram, but I'm gonna make more because I I have I wanted to show some of the new things I could do with it. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking like like with me, I I, I read a lot and I do yeah, this sort of stuff, yeah. and you're just sitting there all day programming. <laughs> well, I, no, this is stuff that I've done like often. I do it off and on. You know, I'm still. I'm. I, you know, as I told you, I'm. A, I'm a dad. You know, okay. my husband, so I, you know, I, I have to make time, you know what yeah. I mean? But I, 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 I don't, cause it be, because I have such a love for it, it's not work. So I just do what I think is fun. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and it's, it's just, it's so, it's so um, amazing mm. to know that people like really enjoy the things that I make that for me is just like, oh, you know, it's just something I, you know, I put together, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you're just not <laughs> but we're like, yeah. yo, you put all my favorite games yeah. into a little box, I can play it anyway. Yeah, yeah, into yes. a box. And the thing is, I even make the, con- I can make the console smaller than that. Really? You know, like, yeah, yeah. Like I, there's, there's different types of boards. So um, I use that particular board because there's more power. So I can put, you know, more powerful running mm-hmm. uh, games on there, but I can go as small as like a, a stick of a stick of chewing gum and put six, seven, eight thousand games on it. Even you I could do that with a fire stick. I could do that too. I could turn a fire stick into a gaming console also. 
actually, I want to know if you can do this. Um, that's, that's, <laughs> yo, that's that's yeah. like okay. How does it work out with the graphics? Because I guess, well, I guess the I don't know. Like you can you can put PlayStation yeah, they, games they, on it. That's why I, I right. I, I stick with more of the retro gaming because it doesn't require as much, much space. Uh, yeah, as much RAM, as much memory. Um, being that we're in the age where we can have terabytes of things on on, on devices so small, yeah. I can load. You know, I could go crazy. But if we, if you want to step into where there's more powerful gaming, like the PS3s, PS4s, that yeah. can be done. That just has to be done on a PC, on a bigger computer. Okay. But even those bigger computers are not as as probably this. Like the PS5 is bigger than some of the things that I could put together. Okay. Okay. I'm just yeah. trying to figure. So you know about this. Oh yes, I think that is genius, right there. That, can you do one of those? Yes, yes, I can. Yo, you can do everything. <laughs> uh, see, I yes, always. I, can. I remember seeing one of those. Like some guy put it together. And he's got yeah, one. Yeah, I saw his... that. Yeah, it was a YouTube video. It's a guy. He did. He did one with the PlayStation. He did one with the Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I get one that. of those, man. Yeah, like I, I, I try to make things like like that, but. On a on a, a little bit more of a different scale where there's even more stuff compiled into it. Okay. So it you know it may have the PS4 stuff, but then you can it, it'll it'll be backwards compatible. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you can you do can that. You can just you can, put, you can do that. That's why you I like using computers like the PCs and all that because I could put pretty much anything on those, and then we could make it where it switches from the PS stuff to Nintendo and Nintendo would switch it over to Xbox and switch it over. Like, you know what I mean? There's just so many different options. We could, we could go crazy, man. I could, I can go crazy. Yeah. So I, that, that was my whole point of showing that small console was to show that I wanted to separate myself, you know, cause mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that make consoles, they make little stuff and they say, you know, I got 250 games. I got this hundred, but I'm giving you 12, 13,000. Yeah, you know what I mean, and no, there's no updates. There's no nothing. It's literally plug and play. That's you know, you plug it up to your TV, let it boot up. The controllers are Bluetooth, so there's no wires. It plays just like a PlayStation on Xbox. And then I could customize it. Like if you had like pictures of you know your favorite music, your pictures of you, your family, you know, you want to make that. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, we can put man. <laughs> we can put that all there on there, and every time it turns on, that's how it boots up with your logo and your stuff on there. Amazing, I can do that man. also. So when the one that I'm going to send to you is going to have all that. Oh man, that's awesome, man. That's that's <laughs> proper. That's proper epic. So okay, so when did you like? So obviously you started young. When did you start programming yeah. your first? Because what? Look, I'm interested. In, I can do a bit of programming, but I'm not like you. Okay. I'm not. Nowhere near, near your level. I learned like some some languages. I, like some... I, I could I consider myself somebody that that just came. You know, I, I was never I was never like actually taught. I was one of those yeah, people yeah. that just had an interest, and I, I just kept just doing the homework up. on it. And it was literally trial and error. Like I yeah. literally messed up and broke things, and yeah. you know I had to re- <laughs> you know buy things. <laughs> so buy things dad, all over dad, and do it all over. I broke the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, my parents have been mad at me a couple of times. Like, I just got you that thing. And I'm yeah. like, I'm sorry, but you know, all right, I'll save up. You know what I mean? I'll, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So <laughs> it's, yeah, so, it was, it's definitely been years of trial and error. Yeah. So, so yeah. like, like I said, I learned a couple of programs, C and Python, like very basic stuff. I didn't get advanced into it because to me, it's like getting all confusing. I was like, hold on a second. That, it's like a one there and a two. Then you're going to cross out. I was like, I don't understand right. this. You know, but it's like you said, you have to do it more and often every day. And then at some it's, point. It's, yeah, it's just like it's literally practice, you know, especially when you learn in coding and things like that. Like coding is so it can it can go from something as basic as a couple of words, a couple of symbols mm-hmm. to writing a whole, you know, like like it, 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 could, it could just get confusing and mind blowing. You know yeah, what I mean? So it's, it's, it's best to take it in steps. Take your time. You know, there's no such thing as a dumb question or a wrong question. Yeah ask you know what i mean like and 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 that's what i did i, I literally took my time okay and just gradually took the steps from like i said even before coding and all of that stuff has been a thing now now that's like really a thing mm-hmm. and back you know when i was younger nobody like really it was like what what are you talking about you know like that kind of thing i just want to play you know that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah yeah so, <laughs> people didn't care they just want to see the result you know what yeah. i mean and so now it's, just, it's good where i can sit down like i could teach my son or teach my nieces and nephews actually like I bought them little beginners coding books mm. and they're not even like some of them are not even 10 yet 
and yeah. they're learning it. You know, so That's it's awesome, like, it's, man. It's, yeah, man, it's amazing. What you, have you got a YouTube channel or something where you teach people this stuff? I'm working on that now. Like I, I'm, I'm still building the website. I, mm -hmm. I ran into a couple of snags with it because I had, I had like, uh, you know, with the pandemic, it was, it, it took a toll on all of us. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to like really concentrate on. It. I had to deal with my family, but I'm back mm -hmm. to building it. I, I am going to put a YouTube channel together where yeah, I'm going to like just break down a lot of basics. And yeah. you know, I wanted to cater to our people. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I we need to cater it. to our kids. And, you know what I mean? And like yeah, give them something where we can make this cool. It, it's not trying to just be a geek or nerd. And if, and if you are that, that's fine. You, bet, yeah. you know what I mean? And it just, we just make it fun and we make it, you know, like in, inviting. You know, yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm working on all of that as we speak. Yeah. Especially because the yeah. future is pretty much like all coding, electronics, yeah. robots. Yeah, yeah. That's that's yep. the future. That's the future. And when you yeah. get you know, a good, uh, like for you, like you're, you're like me with music, with your, I gravitated to the piano and I just, I was playing like six, yes. seven hours a day, every day, piano, yep. that was my yep. world. It became a world yep. from nine till about 17. Right. I was just on the piano all the time. And then when I had a little gap, cause I tried to go into work and stuff. And then at 18 again, I started just producing music until I was about 20, yeah. I don't know, 28 or something. And then I got disgruntled. I was like, oh man, it's not working now. I'm not, I'm not a millionaire yeah. yet. I didn't make it. All these geezers right, are making right. it. Uh, yeah, I'm right. not doing this no more. So I kind of pretty much quick make it, like producing music. And I just started playing piano, which that's what I continue doing up to now. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, I was, I was into the music thing as well. I still have like the, I have the native instrument drum pads and stuff downstairs now. Yeah. You know, I, I was always into the beat making thing, but I, I never, like I, I, I learned a bit of it, but then I never, I, 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 I couldn't like do it all at the same time. Yeah, that's the thing in it. Learn the music, work on the electronics, you know, work, take care of home. So it was like I, I started to ease up on the music thing a little bit. Yeah. But my, my heart is always there. I love the composition of music. Man. I, yeah, I man. love putting it together. Yeah, that's yeah, good, man. Yeah. So you had to pick one. And I think the one you picked was probably the, to me, is the better option. To be fair. I would have liked to have had the passion yeah. and the drive, which I think I did, but I yeah. was still into. And when I look back on my life, I'm like, man, music messed me up, man. It cost me a lot of time. Yeah. And I didn't make yeah. a penny. I mean, I made some money, but I never really made anything. Yeah. If I would electronics, the yeah, if right. I would into electronics, I could be by Google now. I could be, you know, by Apple. I could be mm -hmm. working anywhere. I could have, like, you know, work uh, freelance going around the world and doing. Right. Instead, I'm wasting my time be becoming a great musician who never got heard. <laughs> right. That's why I'm <laughs> probably the great. That's why my slogan is the greatest music's never heard because I'm probably the best musician <laughs> but... you'll ever hear of. Right, right. <laughs> That, that's what my mom I, says anyway my mom says no, that to me no, I, I think so but i think you should still keep working on it man don't don't stop you yeah. know just just do it as you come along man because i got discouraged you know throughout the years i always i used to want to be a sound engineer yeah that was it I that's in, what i was like, I, yeah I, I wanted to go to school for that so bad but i couldn't afford it when i was younger so you know i just became a part i just got into being a part of the working class and just worked and then in the meantime, I would save up and then still work on the little different things. I used to, I used to put like back in the day when everybody was using Nextel phones, mm -hmm. I used to put the ringtones on them for people. I was always doing really? hacking, like tweaking <laughs> something. <laughs> people that know me, all they they will all tell you I was always dabbling something. in something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then it just it just manifests where I just had the time to like actually sit down and just like you know what, let me make something cool. And I took, you know, I tried to take the time and just do a little bit of homework. And I said, maybe I could, yeah, yeah let me try this. And, okay. and I, I believe it or not, my wife is the reason why Godfrey got the console. It's, okay. And, and yeah, she was talking me into like, send them one, send them one, send them one. I was like, nah, nah. I said, and then I ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> I ended up doing it anyway. And that was probably one of the best things I could have done. That's one of the best things yeah. you could do. Send, him, send one to everybody yeah. if you can, like, uh, okay, it might cost you a couple of grand. If you can send one to people like yeah. that, trust me, they'll blow it up for you. I remember hearing one time a girl yeah, yeah. sent her, what did you say? Send a t-shirt to Madonna, a t-shirt to wow. Madonna's kids. And Madonna, wow. his kid was wearing his t-shirt and then all the media outlets picked up on it, took the picture. was like, yeah, Madonna's kids got this top. Wow. It's from this wow. girl. And the woman like blew up. That might be the same wow. for you, man. I actually, I, I don't even, I'm not even worried, man. You, you'll be fine with that. Trust me. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you'll you, be fine. Man. Trust me, Thank you're, you're going to be all right with that stuff, man. Just keep, keep, keep at you, it. Man. Keep it. Godfrey did his, uh, he, did his, he paid his due diligence. Yeah, right. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> you, you found me 
You know, I'm going to try my best. Yes, I'm, yes. I mean, I'm not that big or anything, but at some point, I am going to be no, big as well. Listen, man, it's, the, believe, it, look, believe it or not, it's my first ever podcast. The first time I've ever done this. Okay. So I, I am beyond flattered, man. This is amazing. Like, I... I <laughs> And that's why I'm like, I'm smiling, I'm cheesy, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. trying not to like smile, but I'm like, this is so amazing, man. I'm so, I am truly, truly glad I met you, man. Yeah, man. No problem. So, yeah. so what I want to go back to my original question. So, when yeah. did you first start, when you thought to yourself, you know what, this program stuff's getting me boring. Now, let me make something. Well, how old was you? <laughs> the first, the first, um, this is the funny thing. I met, I met a, 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 a music producer, right? Yeah. And um, this was, uh, I want to say about five, six years ago. Yeah. And I met him at the, at the music studio. And at the time I had, the, I was working on what I was trying to make. You know how like back in the day when we had the, the Nintendo, the NES cartridges. Yeah. The gray. Right? Yeah, the big square so block. I up had one, the big square block. Right. So I had one and I was trying to put my consoles. I was making a console to build in that case yeah so i took i took the the actual you know i took the case apart took the game out put my little components in it and i had a whole bunch of wires and it, it was all like bulk, bulky and that glue it looked disgusting yeah and um i showed it to him and i was like look it's gonna sound crazy but i'm trying to make this console where i could it, like i could put thousands and thousands of games like retro games the games that we, we grew up on mm -hmm. on this device and he's like, what? Like, get out of here. Let me see. So I, we plug it up to the TV. And <laughs> when it came on, it was like, everything was working fine. But yeah. it wasn't as many games. So it was just like this list. It was just a list of, you just saw a list of words. It was just yeah. like a list of games. And he's like, everybody's like blown away by it. But I, mm -hmm. I was still so nervous because it was clumped together so sloppily. Like it was, yeah. it had, like I said, I had glue dripping off of it. It was a mess. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> and he was just Don't like, Look, I think, yeah, he was like, I think this is amazing, but you can't, you can't market this. This is like, this is, this looks crazy. Yeah. Right. So it, that inspired me. That was the first kind of console that I ever made. I, I, if I, if I would have known, I would have went downstairs to see if I could find it to show it to you. But later on, I, I'll send you a picture of it. Yeah, but, okay. um, yeah. That made me, that made me kind of go back into the lab, if you will. And mm. then I, I took my time and I started, I bought a 3d printer. And then I started like learning how to use the 3D printer and started printing out cases and things yeah. that made the, the console look neat. So yeah. then I was like, all right, we're going to go with this whole retro thing. I kind of want to keep the retro theme alive and go with something that's old that people will recognize, like Atari. Mm. Yeah. So I started making the consoles look like little Ataris. And okay. it, it just went from there. It went from there. I was making them look like PlayStation, Super Nintendos. I, I, like, I got all kind of little stuff I could show you that I made. But the, the Atari one is the one that people was like, oh, I like this. I like the way it looks. And, yeah. and it, it just went from there. Yeah, yeah. right. It definitely, definitely looks sweet. Let me see if I can find a picture, actually. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, you might. Wait, let me see. Um, um, uh, is this is it this one? Uh, wait, I'll share this this picture here. Sure. Is this it? That's the, that's the one that I sent to Godfrey. That's the ones I make now. This is nice, man. This looks nice. Yeah, like, that's the one I'm going to send you. Is that like why is this is this a screen on the back or is that like a no 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 that's panel? just the that's just the mesh that the old Ataris used to have on the when the the twenty eight hundred systems they had that design on it but yeah. this is this plugs up to the TV I make portable ones too now okay I do make, I do make portable um that some like to recharge you pull it out your pocket got the same amount of games on it oh, I'm saying I'm actually sending that to Godfrey next okay. You know, yeah, so I, once, once, I, like you can look on my Instagram and see what the portable looks like. Also, it's on there. Is it? Um, is it you'll see a picture like somebody's playing it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. See. This one, yeah. That's it. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah. And I, I just That's that sick. was before I built the case and everything to it. Mm -hmm. Can you unplug um, this up to yeah. the TV as well? That you, like, if you want yes. to have it. Yep. Yeah, man. That's sick, man. Yeah. Hey, you're doing a great yep. thing. And what's with like? Let me show. <laughs> Is this a is this a, a la that's an arcade a full you size arcade? Yeah, you know that's this. a full size arcade with the with the light guns that recoil. So when they shoot, they they cock back like real guns. Yo, and you built this? I built that totally with the trackball. It's a two player. I could make them four players. Um, I built that for a coworker of mine. 
<laughs> Yo, that's sick. Yeah. No, that reminds me because when we was young, we used to always go down to the chip shop to play like Street Fighter yeah. and Street Fighter 2 and stuff. <laughs> you can have one in your house now, man. And you yeah. can probably put like more games on it. You know what I mean? You don't have to have just one game like back in the day. You probably could put exactly. And I even put like that arcade, I put a fire stick in it so you can watch, you know, the TV shows and all that stuff on it also. That's epic, man. So Yo. you'd like switch. <laughs> I, I, I might have to get I'll have to get you to order I have my old one from you, man. Yo, I don't, <laughs> Listen, let's do it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> I wonder if I can I, I need to figure something. We need to talk offline, man. If, if I figure some Okay. I, I, got, I, got, okay. I think I'm gonna have a business proposition for you, man. Definitely. Well, listen, as I tell everybody, please keep me busy. Please yeah, man. Keep me busy. Yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, do you also build PCs and stuff? Yes, I could build them. I repair them. I need. Um, I need. I need. I need a bad. I need a bad PC, man. I need. Yeah, I, need I, I, need I was. I'm powerful. like. I just. I just. We. My wife. My wife and I. We just got into a new house, so yeah. I have a really huge man cave now. Yeah, so, yeah that's it. Yeah, I'm. That's gonna be. You'll see. I'll be posting stuff online. That's it's gonna be insane. Like I already already started working on a few things. It's already going down there, and um, yeah, I'm gonna build my brand new a brand new PC, a new gaming PC. Yeah, that's gonna be a powerhouse, man. Like a, like a, a epic, a epic one is coming. So yeah, we get I can take care of you at the same time. Yeah, you definitely need to do some yeah. toys about that, man. Trust me, you are. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling. Trust me yeah. on this, man. You're gonna have a huge yeah. YouTube channel. You know, I have loads of subscribers. I don't know if you have a day job now, but you ain't gonna have a day yeah. job for much longer. Trust me, you're gonna be good. You're good to I, go. Listen, man, that's the goal. That's the goal is to do this full time. The only question I have is why haven't you already started? That's the only question I'm wondering is why am I? Oh, you know what it was is that like it, it, to be honest, just life. You know that the aspects mm -hmm. of life, and like I said, I'm a father. You know, I, I you know, I um, it's just the, the things that come along with paying bills and certain things that I had to put my priorities, you know, put priorities in perspective. Yeah. But but at the same time, trust me, people have gotten on me like, why, what are you doing? What, what How come? And I'm like, look, I, I guess it just wasn't my time. Maybe now is yeah. my time. Yeah, now's so, your time, you know, I just want to ride the wave. You know what I mean? Like, I just didn't think that the, that it was the stars was aligned at that point. But yeah. I feel like it is now. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready to just embrace it, man. I want to work as hard as possible to continue this, man. Yeah, man, definitely. So that's yeah. so that basically. Um, what do you? What is your day job anyway? Actually, if you don't mind me asking. I, yeah, no, no. I, I work for a company called. I work for a railroad company. You work so you in the railroad. Yeah. Are you, are you doing all this stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fix well. Fixing trains ain't too bad, though. Yeah. I mean, if you're an engineer, yeah. Or even, even that is a lot of computer work involved in that yeah. as well. It's mechanical and some computer work. So. That I basically troubleshoot and repair trains. No, I'm wondering. That's yeah. a good question, actually. Um, why isn't the train industry really taken off in, in, in America? Like in England, like in Europe, we all have yeah. mad train systems. You know what I mean? You can catch a train anywhere, you know, right. given they're quite expensive sometimes. It can be very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've got connection yeah. everywhere. You, know, you have the um, underground. I guess you have the underground in America, in New York. But if you look at like right. the track, America's, you know, it's brewing for a train system, man. It would be perfect. But for some reason, never I, I think it has to deal with it has to deal with because these train these railroads are owned by bigger companies, mm -hmm. and and it all boils down to a dollar. You know, like like um, a lot of like being that I'm on the I'm in New York State, yeah, New York City rather. They, the 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 state runs certain parts of the railroad, and then there's certain parts that the city owns. Yeah, so you have like the city MTA, like New York, the actual Manhattan, Bronx, Long Island. Yeah. You know, yep. all of that is owned by the city runs that. But then you have Long Island Railroad, Metro North Railroad. Those are considered commuter railroads that the state owns, which is technically federal. Yeah. So it's like a lot of red tape, you know, with that. There's been plenty of talk about constructing, you know, new stations and new lines. And yeah, man. even like how like you have in other countries, you have like a monorail, trains that don't even yeah. run on wheels. Like, yep. yeah, like we all of that. But it's, it deals with a lot of red tape and the government controls the majority of it. Oh, so it's, it's basically a federal thing. Yeah, I think um, yep. definitely like you could have like a whole system all around America, man. You'd be chilling. You go anywhere. <laughs> you, only, you actually only need three lines. I think you could have one going up to the north. It would, it would, be, it would be like the closest thing that we have to that is Amtrak has what's called the Acela. 
which yeah. is like a it's like an express train that runs yeah. but it's it's nothing like what you see like where you guys are and then like china and japan it's nothing yeah, pulley train <laughs> sounds yeah. old rusty oh uh, yeah <laughs> near death experience train yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Right. It's like the whole rickety rockety, yeah, you know, yeah. the whole like, yeah. That's like a D class. Like some of them are cool. Like we got, there's, there's a lot of new stuff out there. Don't get me wrong. There's new, there's brand new stuff out there that's really nice. Yeah. You know, real cool. Like everything is real, like state of the art, but it's, it's not the same. It's not the yeah. same. I, yeah. I think I, I think I get what America's doing basically because like there's an, I think it's a new technology called the maglev train. And right. they're doing like what the Africans did and they didn't get no phone lines <laughs> built in because they knew that wireless was coming. So right, right. right. So in Africa, they missed all the phone lines being built, all these cables, and just would jump straight exactly. to wireless. And that's what America's exactly. doing. Eric is like, okay, right, right. right. See, and, that, and that's 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 the thing too, because you have trains that like like a lot of trains, you have three basically you have three types of trains. Mm. There's some that run on diesel, you have some yeah. that run on what's the cables, the catenary cables Electric. that run above you. And then yeah. you have the third rail ones. Those are both electric, but the third rail one is like with the little things that rub, like the trains like rub this rail. Yeah. And it, that's where it gets its power from. Yeah. Every, you can't build that everywhere. You know that's what true, I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of talk on infrastructure and making it accessible to have either catenary or third rail. And then it's mm. like, so, all right, well, we have to get it to run this way so it stays along the catenary side or this way like it's it's so much mess man That's so crazy. much so much mess it's but it, it, it you know it, it is what it is like i said it's 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 one of those jobs that uh that pays well but mm-hmm. would i rather be doing something else absolutely and you gotta be self-employed <laughs> man you can make what you're making now you can make yeah. that in a, in a that in a minute doing what you're doing yeah all this stuff trust yeah. me you sell, oh, yeah. let's say, for example, you, you make this like wholesale, these units, you sell mm-hmm. 500 a day. You're good to yeah. go, man. You're good that's to what go. I, that's, that's the plan, man. That's, that's what I want to build to. That's a possibility yes. for you, man, really. Yep. 500 that's, easy. That's, what we, that's exactly what my goals are, man, is to get into that that kind of position where I could do this full time. Yeah. So you build your YouTube channel and blow up. Yes. When you're blowing up a YouTube channel because you're doing a how-to YouTube channel, which are right. typically more you know, lucrative than mm-hmm. anything else. And then you right. promote all your consoles, look, I'll do this, do this, it's got my links, right. my links, my links. And you keep more right. in the funnel. Yeah, man, you're good yep. to go, man. You're good yeah, to go. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, I plan to have to YouTube everything up soon. Yeah, man. Hurry up. You should be doing it like today. You should be finishing it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, like, yeah. Well, get off here I now. Gonna, actually, yeah, that guy, <laughs> that guy, I'll style it, man. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll be fine, man. Trust me, you'll be fine. Uh, right. Thank you, man. So, so anyway, what, what's Godfrey like, man? Because I'm actually trying to get him on the show, man. We don't listen to my, you don't listen, you don't, you don't read my messages, man. I don't like. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I, I listen. All I need is the info, man. Once you send me the info, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna send you one, man. You got, you got one no, for sure. No, I mean, what, what's Godfrey like? Because you know, I wanna. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm oh, to get him on the show. Man, man. To get him on the show, man. Yeah, he's, yeah, that man is hilarious. <laughs> man. Like, but yeah, it. <laughs> I, I was shocked at how long. Like, we were, we were on that live. Um, maybe a good hour and a half yeah, yeah and we were talking about everything like we went up he was doing the steve harvey impression with my console in his head yeah. <laughs> which i thought was hilarious he has that steve harvey down to a, to a science yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then we was talking about like just all these different subjects and then he was impersonating all these different people. he was just a cool he's down to earth and cool man like um we ended up um i ended up telling him again like you know i appreciate you man that was it was so cool what you did. And he was like, oh, man, you know, we got to stick together kind of thing. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, man, man. He's a he's a good guy, man. He's a genuinely good man, man. He is, he is. I've been following for nice guy. Like he's And he's, like, naturally funny. Like, he's one of those yeah. people that, you know, it just comes out. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have to, like, put on, <laughs> you know, it's, he's just going to have you laughing, man. He had me cracking up through the entire time I was on his live. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been following <laughs> him for a long time, man. We was, you know, he's... It's the thing with Godfrey, I don't understand why he's not where he, he should be much higher than he is. You know what I mean? He should have been, he should be way higher. He should be. And I, first... I think I think it's because he tackles the race issue a lot. Yeah. And I think because he makes people uncomfortable with that. Yeah. yeah. Which, but yeah. I still at the same time, it's like if you are uncomfortable, then maybe that is something that it, that should be discussed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he I, I love the fact that he's unapologetic about that. Yeah. And yeah. that he embraces his culture, he embraces who he who he is and and, and, and shines a light on all of us, man. Yeah, man. 
Um, you know? Yeah, so I've been I've been following him since like obviously he's never really hit the heights where he should be. I'm hoping it's gonna happen now because he had that um what did he have? He had that special on Netflix recently. On Netflix, yeah. Yeah, yep. because of um Tiffany Haddish. And yeah. I think like then I saw that he's got a blue tick now on Instagram. And I remember when he used to speak back oh, yeah. like, I want a blue tick, but and I was like, oh man, dude, yeah, me too. Blue tick. <laughs> <laughs> and, now, and now he's got his blue tick. I wrote him and I was like, yo, you got your blue tick finally, you know. And, and now he's got over a hundred thousand followers and stuff. I was like, ah oh, no, now yeah, I try to talk man. to him. I go in getting slimmer and slimmer because you know the more famous he gets, the hard to get to <laughs> right. him. The one's writing him, you know, I'm like, oh god. But at some right, point, right. I'm gonna get 100,000 too, so I don't care. I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll catch you. When oh, I'm like, listen, I'll man, you're doing good, man. Yeah, you can. You, you, you're not. You're on the way. You know, on the way. Yeah, it's, you're on the way for sure, man. It's a long battle, but that's yeah, amazing. Man. Yeah, man. Nah, that means the work is paying off, man. Yeah, you're man. You're going in the right direction, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So yeah, man. We all listen. We all gonna do. We gonna climb it and do this together, man. Sure, sure. That's it, man. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So um, oh, oh, yeah. wait, wait, I had another question for you, man. Um, sure. do you dabble in do you dabble in the blockchain and stuff? Are you, are you up to speed with all that stuff? Yes, yes. I um, I did, I did uh, just a little, a little bit of investing in a little bit of cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not, I, I didn't do the Bitcoin thing. I didn't jump on that way. But there are like, like the uh, I jumped on like uh, I didn't do the Dogecoin. Maybe I should have done that. I took, I took because I know the history of Dogecoin. I don't know about it Dogecoin, was, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, it was like a joke. And I'm like, it's a joke that's making a lot of it's money. Killing me. So it's killing me, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, ah, like no, I, I couldn't jump. Ah, no. I could have jumped on that when it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you know we're too so, honest at it. We're too honest. Like, I'm too honest to get on that, but uh, 50 cents now. No, no. <laughs> Don't go up. <laughs> you know? Right. You know, I love right, one like so that. It's Ripple. Like... I love what Ripple. <laughs> Ripple is killing me. Like, I, I bought Ripple. Oh. I load of Ripple when it was cheap. And then what was like, oh, yeah. it's a bankers coin, it's centralized. And I was like, okay, yeah. I'm selling it, I'm selling it, I'm out. And I saw yep. it like, I did I did jump on Ethereum though. I did I did jump on a little bit of the Ethereum and uh uh as I can't remember that there's one called the like OMG network. I uh, there's another one I jumped on. There's one uh, called Litecoin. OMG. You ever have Litecoin? I didn't no, I didn't jump on Litecoin. Yet. I'll tell you what, I had I had a, I a bag of Litecoin I, 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 and a bag of Ethereum in it. Hey, and you never guess what? I sold them too soon, man. <laughs> oh, hey, I was I was minted. Hey, I was minted in minted. In, in, a, in another life. I was minted. And I right, was right. You would have been good. You been... I would be good now. You wouldn't even see me on this podcast. I'd be like, right, right. <laughs> I'd be chilling oh, right. on my yacht. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I know the feeling. I know the feeling, man. Crypto so, like like right. What I've done. Now, like what I did now is I started jump. I started putting a couple dollars into some of the ones that, like a couple of ones that that did a little bit of a jump. Yeah, I put a couple dollars on it, but just enough so that if it makes money, I can see it, and if it if it doesn't, it doesn't hurt too bad. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So I, yeah. I just I, I started. I jumped on Coinbase and started yeah. you know buying a few cryptocurrencies through there, and we'll yeah. just see what happens. Man. But right because now, been, the whole in, the whole industry is taking a hit. Like everything yeah, is that. It's normal though, man. If you was there, because I started in 2017 or, or late 2016. Yeah. So I yeah. I was buying stuff for quite cheap. Like Bitcoin was still at like under a thousand, and I was like, yeah, I put I put in like five hundred. I bought a bag of Litecoin, a bag of Ethereum. I was yeah. like, I was like, I'm good to go. And then he, um, yeah. and then and then all of a sudden it started blowing up. Then all of a sudden I had money. Yeah. I was like, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> And I was like, you know, I'm going to leave it there because I wasn't experiencing it. I was like, I'm yeah. leaving it there. And all of a sudden, yeah. I was like, because investing, you think I'm a long-term or I'm a day trader? And I was like, yeah. I'm a long-term guy. I'm going to be a long-term, you know, I'm cool. I don't yeah, need yeah. the money. I'll leave it. And I saw it go up. I was like, yo, I'm rich. But I didn't know what to do then. I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> do I take right, it? Right, right, do I right. leave it? Like, it? <laughs> Is it going to stay there? Is it going to go higher? Right, right. Oh, I waited and waited. Yeah, <laughs> yo, I waited and waited. Next day, I had like 50 bucks. I was like, <laughs> Yo, I was out. I was crying. I was like, no, oh, my money. My money's gone. No, I get it. I felt the same way, man. I felt the same way. A couple of days ago, I'm like, oh, no. All yeah, of yeah. it's All of it? <laughs> all of it? Like, everything, every, all of it's down. I'm like, oh. And, and this, is, and, this right here is going to give me a heart attack, man. Yeah, but you got to, like, because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'll get to myself a, a veteran now. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah. I'm not. It's going yeah. down. Good. Now's the time to buy again. 
Now's the time to buy. That's right. Now the time to buy. Yeah. Because wait, wait, because there's gonna be another swing, an upswing. There's always another upswing. It always comes back. Mm-hmm. I've seen it happen. Like yep. I think it went from zero to three, three dollars or something. Then went back down. It was mm-hmm. like three dollars, mm-hmm. and then it went up to like eight hundred dollars or something, or three hundred dollars. Yep. Then went back down. Then it went yep. to eight hundred dollars. Then went down. Then a couple of thousand. Then went yep. down. Then went up to. The yep. first time was like 17 or 18,000 or 20,000. Then went back down. This time went to 60,000. So I'm like, okay, it's going back down. But well, I know in three years, I'm good. Right. In three years, I'm good. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to, I'm buying now. Three years, that's right. In three years, that's I'm right. good. So I know already yep. in t- two to three years' time, I'll be sitting on my yacht. What should have happened yeah, four or five be, years yeah, ago? You're going to be yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I keep telling him. <laughs> yeah, like, that's why I, I did the same. I said, let me just let me just invest small while everything is in the, is in the, like the down yeah. slope. And I, I'm, I'm just going to invest small, but in, but in a few. That's why I said I did like a little bit of Ethereum. I did. Um, I, I did. I was interested in talking to a bunch of people though to try because you, if you could get enough people to to that are willing to invest, we could start a blockchain and you can start your own currency. Yeah. And I thought that would be kind of cool. You know what I mean? That we, thinking. all of us can invest in and and we start something and see what happens. Yeah. You know. Yeah. If those and, you know, it's all, you it. taking a chance regardless. Yeah, you know. So, I, it, but yeah, but in the, until that, until we, you know, until something like that comes comes to light, I'm just going to invest small and <laughs> see what happens. And if it starts to grow the way that I expect it to, man, I'm going to be just like you in three years. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> You're good to go. The thing is, there's always that little bit, of, like little voice in your mind, like, yeah, but this time it's gone down. It's going to stay there. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you invest; it's still going to be right. Low. <laughs> right, because the, de- the, de- the devil's got get- he's got tricks in it. The devil's got oh, tricks, yeah. man. Yo, he's like, yeah. yep. oh, you know, with yep. me, what's worse? Like I tell you, one, two times when I knew someone doesn't, someone's playing with me. One time, mm-hmm. we should have won the lottery, and it we mm-hmm. put on a syndicate. You know what a syndicate is? So, but every week we're playing. Yeah. I don't know what you guys call it in America. But every week we're playing, we're playing, we're playing. Right. One week we said, oh, we're not playing this week, and I know, and our numbers came out. And that was the week. That was the week our numbers came out. And we happened to find the ticket a week later. Like, uh, I, was, I was like, this with the ticket. I was like, this. <laughs> Damn. Was, Damn. And then I was in the basement like this. <laughs> and it ain't even funny, but yo. I no, no, so, I get it. No, I get I, it. I was so <laughs> upset. I was so, and, and I the same been, thing. I would have felt the same way. Yeah, yeah, and the same thing happened with the crypto thing, man. I had a, like I said, I had a yeah. bag of cryptocurrency because from the last time it went down, I still had all my crypto. But uh, two yeah. months before, I was like, I'm going to sell these now. It's going to go down tomorrow. I'm going to buy it back in like next week. I completely forgot about yeah. it. And then it went up. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, put it this way, I had about four, I had about, no, I had 7G invested in crypto. 7G worth. And that shut up, and I was like, "Wow, wow! All my problems, wow. all my problems will be, will be over now. I'll be chilling. Solved. All solved. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it, man. It's I pain, feel you painful. Pain. painful, man. I painful. feel it. I can yeah. feel your pain, man. But I'm experienced now. <laughs> by, yeah. by the time I'm getting, by the time retirement comes, I'll be, I'll be a trillionaire. It's all good. That's what. That's the. That's the exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> same, yeah, I got the same goal, man. <laughs> yeah, man. but you, you're good. You're on another path, though. You're, you're going to be, you're destined for greatness. Trust me. I've said it Thank a thousand you, times man. already, but you're destined because what you're doing yeah. there. Thank like, you. Like as soon as I saw yeah. that, I was like, yo, excellent, excellent. So doing that, but yeah, this blockchain so idea, man, we should talk about this as well, man. Let's, man, let's is, talk about it, man. Let's um, do it. I, I, I would love to get a bunch of us involved, man, and make like make our own currency and see how that floats out there. Yeah, you know, and, and I think there's something that could be very lucrative if it's done right. Wow. Well, well, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Some guys yeah. have scanned me, you know, so I, I know there's there's a way to make <laughs> proper corn, man. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. I mean, you you got these things. People are making these these NFTs and things like that. They're making so much. And the funny thing about an NFT is that an NFT is only as good as the The server that it's on. (laughs) Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way you can access it. So God forbid if something happens to that server, there is no NFT. You you done? You (laughs) You know what I mean? And people are making a gazillion dollars doing this. Yeah. Like I'm 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 on it. We gotta we gotta get into that, man. 
And I want to, you know, when you read the, the white paper, the white paper basically explains what it might do. It's not even, right. it's not even functioning. It's like, this is the plan. And you're like, okay, right. so I'm putting money into something that's not even finished. There's only right. a couple like compound has a good system. Um, I, I, I invested like compounds or, or stuff that, um, yeah. offer, um, percentages like a Tezos. I think Tezos is good. It's a bit, it's, a, uh, it's yeah. cheap now, but when I bought right. it, it was like a dollar. Uh, I think it's at like two dollars or three dollars now. Um, and okay. then when it was at six dollars, I was chilling. Um, so yeah, that's good. Tezos because they offer you every when you hold it, it offers mm-hmm. you like it gives you one extra one every time you hold the longer you hold it. So that's good. Okay, um, okay, so it's almost is, like a CD, like it builds an interest, yeah, because like, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and compounds, yeah. it's the same, they borrow your money out against the what you own. And then nice. they ask you if they think it should be something important and blah, blah. And if you rent it out, they give you percentages back. Or you can stake the coins, you know what I mean? Like Binance, I, had, I got a few Binance, right, 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 which, which right. I bought for $15 back then. And then you saw the other day, it was like six, I think it was like six, 700 each. So oh, wow. I was like, oh, Binance, yeah. man, yeah. Binance is yeah, good. Yeah. If you can get them cheap now, I think they're still around two, 300 at the moment. Uh, it's a bit okay. expensive. If you can wait a little bit until it goes back down. Because yeah. I think anything over, anything over, if you're a normal person, anything over fifty dollars for a coin mm-hmm. is, is expensive, man. I think I'll try and keep yeah. it under ten if anything, get it for like ten. And yeah, I'll I, some- I jumped on this. Matter of fact, let me look it up so I can tell you which names that of the ones that I, I jumped on that were. I jumped on um like I told you the OMG network. Mm-hmm. There's one called QTUM, letter Q T T U M. I jumped on it, like now they're over the ten dollar mark. Yeah. When I jumped on that, it was at like seven eight bucks yeah, yeah. so See? and then um this other one called storage this is probably the cheapest one that i bought I have storage. yeah storage is cheap but it i ha- I feel like that's gonna be I, ha- I have a good feeling about it <laughs> you know what i mean like it, it 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 even though everything's down right now it was jumping so good like a few weeks ago it was slow but steady steady increase yeah it went up to three dollars it was a nice yeah. 70 cents like, yeah, when I jumped on it, it wasn't even a dollar. Yeah, so that's yeah. a good one to invest like, in. It, it, yep, yep. So those are just a few. Like I, I, I look, I check. Like I said, I check usually once a week or twice a week and see what the activity is. And then when I see something that looks like okay, maybe I could, you know, I'll just jump on whatever, whatever, I, whatever I gravitate towards. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Yeah. It would have been nice if we just got like. 10,000 Bitcoin back then, no man, that would have been exactly. <laughs> that would have been the easiest <laughs> way. It? It'd be so nice. Like, you know, I just made a quick 10, and I, you know, let me just yeah. say it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, know. Know. you know, you sometimes think this I think, oh, boy, some man back in the day was did I have the yeah. foresight there? And maybe it's just lying somewhere on a USB stick, yeah. and I'm gonna find it and be like, yo, I'm at 10,000 yeah. Bitcoin, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it I got it you're going to invent a time machine <laughs> you're going to send me back to back to yeah, 2000 back to, yeah when Bitcoin was like <laughs> I'm going to tell myself don't do music yeah. study study C++ in depth yeah. and buy Bitcoin yo that's it yep. and just buy when it was like two dollars yeah 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 no no not even two dollars man I think back then a dollar would you got you enough one dollar would yeah, be dollar enough. Yeah, dollar would be enough. Enough. Yeah, yeah that'd have been enough. So that's yeah. the plan. That's, 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 that's your homework. Yo, time yeah, machine. I, listen, I, I got you. I got you. I'll get on it. Yeah, man. <laughs> you on the first thing in the morning. Yeah, as soon as you finish, I'm going back in time. I'll hook you up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hook you up. I'll go into Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I hope so. <laughs> I'll hook you up to you, man. Don't worry. I'm going I'm to get you a couple of Bitcoin. You, I'll, I'll be like, you know, when look, just imagine that yeah, we're back in the future now. I'm like, yeah, man, I'll stay on the podcast, but now I've got like luxurious background, like some, like some Kevin Samuels, you know, with LED lights and stuff. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you, yeah, from, from, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I remember check, your, check your drawer, check your upright drawer, and you'll open it. You'll see like a USB there. Thank you. <laughs> 10,000 Bitcoin. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Then again, actually, no saying that you shouldn't have Bitcoin because your genius might not come out then. Oh man, I hope. I so. hope. Like, I, I, like I said, if it, if it gets to a point where I could, if, if if one or the other, I just need one or the other. You know, just <laughs> so I, you know, I get, I'll invest in each other. I put it like that. But just yeah. one takes off first, then that money's gonna go into one or the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to keep it growing. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Yeah, man. man.
Yeah. Anyway, um, you got anything else you want to add, man? Uh, no, other than I, yo, this has been a blast. I, I'm, I'm truly honored to be on your show, man. I would love to come back. Yeah, time, you're, man, you're, you're now your regular. <laughs> I, <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. I would love, love to do this again. And, and uh, like I said, send me your info so I can get that stuff sent to you, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm gonna actually yep. put the music on because I, I know you. Um, I put the music on because I forgot you didn't get to experience the music. This is not gonna go out today, but doesn't matter about that. Okay. Um, it'll go nah, out. Yeah, no problem. So if you're watching this today, this was recorded a week ago. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, actually, wait, wait. Um, put this. Uh, wait. I'm gonna give you the song. Oh, so where, where can we find you anyway? Give me your um, your handle. Um, right now, I just like I said, website and website YouTube channel is coming very, very, very soon. But right now you can find me on Adonis, A-D-O-N-I-S underscore electronics, E-L-E-C-T-R-O-N-I-C-S. And um, yeah, that's where, I, that's where I post a lot of my stuff, all of my stuff. Um, and I got some, some crazy stuff in the works coming real soon. I'm in the lab as we speak, yeah, making man. some more some more gaming fun. And I, awesome. and I wanted to be as affordable as possible. So we, I'm making options so that we can cater to everybody. Yeah, man, you know definitely. I mean? <clears throat> right, plan. Get that nostalgia back. <laughs> yeah, man, for sure, man. All right, man. Yeah. Then uh, thanks Thank for joining us again, again like man. I said. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon, man. And think, uh, think about yeah, what I can't man. talk, man. I can't talk. Actually, I need to send you some, uh, I don't know if you want Bitcoin. Yeah. Then we'll, you let me know, man. Let me know what you want, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like okay. I said, just send me that before we going to talk. And, and, and I, I, I'm, I got some stuff coming to you, man. All right, man. Awesome. All right, brother. Thank All you. Right. Peace, Pleasure, peace, man. peace, 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 bro. <laughs>